This special presentation of EWA 2018 was made possible by Evanix Air Guns, Umarex Arnsberg, Hudson USA, Daystate, Diana, FX Air Guns, Air Arms, JSB Predator International, and H&N Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Okay, my dear friends, we are here in the FX booth with John, I'm gonna mess it up, I know I am. <laughs> Elvil, Elvilgard Tooler? Elvigard. Elvigard, John Elvis Presley Tooler. That's why we just go by John. <laughs> John John's cool, and you'll recognize him from, I'm from back. back from Airgun Depot. He's now representing FX USA, yep. and it's been a very exciting year, or better, I, let me say a very exciting six months for you yeah. guys. Yes, very it's, busy. Really, I've only been open four months now. It feels like two years. <laughs> yeah, just, just to recap, if you haven't been following along, um, FX, FX Airgun Sweden has now brought to the United States right. their own distribution, warranty, and service center, which is set up in, in North, 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 North Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. And well, because right. I, I had to move, that's why I left Airgun Depot, I had to move my family back east for some family reasons, and then uh, FX said, hey, this is a great opportunity, and here we are, in short order. <laughs> well, it's, it's good to see you here. This is a guy I've always liked working with, and you see me do a lot of work with him when we was over at Airgun yeah. Depot, so it's, it's good to see him find a home here at, uh, at FX Air Guns, but certainly this is the most exciting thing going on up in y'all's booth today, and this is the, the new FX Dreamline, as in I'm having a, a dream, correct? It's the perfect name for it. Okay. The, yeah, the Dreamline, if you, once you get your head wrapped around it, it's, it's amazing. All right, I'm, I'm going to try to tell them what I know, and okay. if I mess up, you just got to yeah. correct me. But guys, what this basically is, this is going to be a modular, regulated air gun for around the $1,000 price point? Sub-$1,000 price point to sub start with. Now, based on the features, you can go from there okay. what you want. Perfect, now what I mean by modular is this is a gun that's gonna be plug and play. You can, when you order this gun, you can, you can purchase them made to order, so built to your specs, or you can buy them in kind of a standard configuration, and as your needs grow as an air gunner through you know, your time with your air gun, you can change the gun. And what I mean by change is you can alter things like like stocks, you can go from a tactical version yep. to a very uh, classic, classic, classic bullpup, elegant yep. version. You can go bullpup, which I'll, I'll be putting pictures of that over here. So just you know, look for that. You can uh, also uh, change the barrel inserts or liners. Mm -hmm. You can alter twist rates. You can alter calibers. You can alter chokes so that this will work with pellets and and down the road, maybe even slugs, just, yep. just to kind of let you know a little behind the scenes, Matt Dubber from Air Arms Hunting South Africa has been working very closely with yep. FX Air Guns, um, trying to develop the barrels, or a, or a barrel, or a series of barrels that will also work well with slugs. Yeah, I don't know some if, of the different projectiles that are out there. Yeah, I don't know if that's, they're, they're gonna be successful, but that is a path that oh, they're marching down. Of course we're gonna be successful. <laughs> These guys hate to lose. <laughs> but, uh, but look for that, you know, keep an eye to his channel, keep an eye to mine, and, and we'll certainly discuss that. But the way this works is, I mentioned you can change calibers. So uh, very easy, the shroud comes off. The, um, the insert or the barrel, the, the barrel that slides in here will remove. And I've got a full video on that. I'll, I will link that in the description down below. Watch my FX Wildcat MK2 Smooth Twist versus Smooth Twist X video. And, and you'll see in there, I take you through the process of how to change that. But yep. you, can, you can change the barrel insert, insert. you can change the bolt probe so that it matches the caliber of the insert. Change the caliber. Yep. yep. And then this dial over here, which actually controls the transfer port, I'll put a picture of this. You're actually rotating this to pick the caliber. Uh, yep. 22177, 2530. And then this gauge over here is not actually the pressure gauge of the gun. This is the regulator's gauge. So we mentioned this is a regulator's gun, a regulated gun. And then up on the end here is is a still your manometer, and the regulator is adjustable. It's certainly adjustable. Yeah, you kind of that's have important a to you guys. With an Allen wrench, you just adjust it. I think the video that we give you shows that a little bit clearer. Yep. yep. Okay, so to recap, and then I guess I'm going to give it no, over to John to no, fill, no, fill, fill in the <laughs> fill in the blanks. Oh, you with still the, got your hammer spring adjustment too. Uh, yes. Yep. Still the hammer spring like you would see on an FX Impact, yep. on an FX Crown. They've taken all of that. I don't know how you've done it, and they've moved it into that sub thousand dollar price point. So this is really a game changer for the air gun industry. industry. And to again to recap, we can go tactical, we can go bullpup, we can go classic yep. and walnut laminate. Maybe, maybe even synthetic, synthetic in this. Laminate. You got 
got some of your different options on stocks, designs. The price points vary. You got a, we got a nice field target stock that's really high end. Because now we with the 177 Smooth Twist X, the 177's back for FX. Mm -hmm. So they have the competition is back there. So not to get sidetracked. No, I, and I, I'm glad he mentioned it because I'm looking right behind us and there is a field target version of this. And my, I'm so excited, my hands are actually shaking. I don't know if you guys can it's, see that on the camera. Like it's it's kind it. of freaking me out. This is this is amazing. What, I mean, this, this you trade with me? Yeah, yeah. The streamline put us in the right direction. About really streamlining the process, getting the, getting those components down, working well. The Dreamline is that next iteration, and it's the modular design. And you're right, Steve. The idea is um, the idea you can build your own gun. Now, saying that, we're going to roll out base models initially this year, and then by the idea is by the end of the year when all the components are there, when it then you can sit there and build your own. But, but the idea is I could buy this and then later on decide, shit, I want a bullpup. And I just said shit. Um, <laughs> but, um, but that's how cool it is. It's like I, I can grow with a gun. I can get into something maybe, you know, a model like this that's very inexpensive. Then later on I get in the field target. I can buy my field target stock and have my one gun that grows with me. Maybe I'm just a 22 shooter for now, but then as I grow and I decide to like hunting, stuff like that, I need the 25, I need the 30. I want, I want the twist rates with slugs that that not only are we going to make work that are already working, because I, I was seeing what was happening last week, but um, it, it's all in one design. It's the build your own air gun. Yeah, to, to your point, you know, you can take 177 if you're, you know, if, if you're shooting sparrows, you know, in the barn with a galvanized steel roof that day, and then maybe you got a windy, a windy day where you need to reach out to 50 or 100 yards and you're shooting pigeons and doves and you go up to a a 2.5 or a 3.0, or then maybe you want to go out to you know Phoenix, Arizona, and compete at the extreme bench rest there, and um, you know you can turn this you kind of in, into a long gun, you know 25, 30 caliber, and you can control the regulator and the hammer spring and the transfer port, so you can and the barrel. So what that means to you at the end of the day is you can dial this in to whatever ammo, whatever conditions. Whatever type of shooting it, it's you're complete doing, adjustability, it's complete adjustability. But me out. it's complete adjustability, but it's it's not like anyone can do it. We're, we're trying to make it where it's, it's yeah. simple enough that it's not like you have to be an engineer to to adjust your gun and pull it apart, and you're not going to mess it up. It's really dummy proof is the, is the idea. It, the modular components, you can do this because I know a lot of guys. Maybe maybe you're not even at air guns yet, or you're just barely getting into it. You'll be able to handle this. So, so the FX Streamline, and again, that's a, a gun that I've done a full review on. It was actually one of my 2017 most memorable. Yeah. You can go to AEAC online and you can look at my most memorable list there, AEAC AEAConline.com, excuse me, and check that out. But I've done a full review on that gun and I'll link that in the description down below so you can watch that as well. But when these first ship, are you going to be keeping the streamline? What's the long term? You no, know, really, because well, look, this, this is basically, it looks a lot like the streamline, right? That looks like a streamline but to me. Now I have an adjustable regulator. I have the bigger, larger capacity magazines. I have the adjustable uh, hammer on it. So really, you can see very quickly, and it's the same price point as the Streamline. So Dreamline is just the, it, it's the growth of the Streamline model of where it's going. Okay. Uh, you got all the adjustability of the crown and the impact, like you said, mm -hmm. at really half the price. So <laughs> he, I missed it and he made me think of it. And when he said it, I just looked down and saw it. So this magazine slot is cut in an angle. And if you watch my review of the FX Crown, and I'll also link yep. that down, <laughs> down below, you can see that that magazine slides it at an angle for a couple of reasons. One, you can make the magazine taller. Yep. John called it a high, sorry, I'm like pointing this at your face. <laughs> Call it a high capacity magazine, but it also allows you to run your scope closer to the barrel, yep. which is, you know, it's just it's better for long range, long range shooting. You have a, you know, 18 shot round magazine, depending on the caliber, right? All right, so Smooth Twist versus Smooth Twist X. These okay. are originally, Initially going to ship, I'm guessing, with the smooth twist. Yeah, those base like models, I think they're going to shoot, ship with just the smooth twist, the standard liner, because we want to keep the price low. Okay. Because really, if I'm just shooting the pellets, the JSBs, as you showed on your video, you're good. You're golden, right? Yeah. But as you want to do more things, you can still upgrade that liner, the insert, um, to that full smooth twist X and the different twist rates and all those things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> the wheels are turning. <laughs> well, I'm, th I'm thinking that. <laughs> They're probably wondering, well, is you know what what's the gun like? What's the cause, you know I want to tell them a little bit sure. about the gun, but very light in hand, feels about six pounds ish, uh, very well balanced. It seems to you know balance out right about there. I, I'm gonna poke your eyeball out with this thing. We're a shoot, we're at a shooting you know, show, guys. Gonna be a common. So they're shoot the gun they're gonna slam me. They did it at a shot show, and and guys, if you can imagine a building the size of the largest shopping mall, you can wrap your head around and put 10,000 people in there. 
where when you look up at every at any moment, you have like 15 guns pointed at your head from like 20 feet away. So that's just the environment <laughs> it's here. The the, reality. It's the reality. And so we all kind of let our guard down, but they're all made very safe. So yeah. please forgive me and don't stone me in the comments. So so many comments that, but um, it, but the, the quality is there. It's nice lightweight. Um, any changing in the valving from the streamline, or is this a streamline engine? Well, you got the with the regulator so there. Far. Um, all right, if we don't know, we don't know. This is brand new stuff, yeah. guys. I mean, this is day so one it's, it's the of E1. But, but the reality kind of with their valving in general, what's great about FX is it's the constant innovation and inline changes. If there's a better way, also if tomorrow Frederick wakes up and he's like, I know a better way to build a regulator, it's going to be done. It's not like, okay, a year from now we'll introduce this. It's just inline changes, making sure everything's done mm -hmm. so that even people with older guns can be upgraded. It's like, you know, the, the recent impact. Now you can get Impact X, no problem. You can buy the barrel. It's always done with kind of the original owner in mind, so that they can they can upgrade on it. All right. Great, and they're probably wondering when <laughs> the big W <laughs> this year. No, it's okay. um, so the idea is we're going to roll out the base models, about five, you know, like the classic, the light, the tactical, the bullpup, and the competition or, or field target. So we're going to have those base models uh, this year. Uh, I, I think that's going to be rolling out in June. And I, and I always say that because, you know, we want to make sure, you know, I'm talking FX USA, we want to make sure we have units in stock, but I'm, I'm thinking June's realistic. Okay. And then the idea of phase two, the build your own, that's about having all those components in. That's that's more end of third quarter, fourth quarter. All right, so let's call it summer, and then Late by, by the end of the uh, year, yeah. we should be getting yeah. pretty crazy with the made to order modular this, stuff. <laughs> The, the logistics behind that, that's what wraps my brain and keeps me up at night. But we're, I mean, we're gonna pull this off. The sense of having that build your own, yeah. that changes everything. And it, like if I'm a user, I want all those components, I don't want it built. I want to get those components, put my gun together, mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's like building your own AR kind of thing. It's like, I want to buy those different things, put it together, infuse me into it, right? Well, that's a my very gun. that's very popular in that, in that culture, and it's nice to see it come over for the air gun culture, it's only a, you know it's a natural migration. We are we are all master tinkers, and, and yeah. they know it. And just to be able to, you know, buy a gun, take it through your life with you, change it as you change, and have it be able to, just whatever you want to do that day is, is very exciting. Now I'm guessing that the crown and the impact will still stay because there's probably definitely a market for those bigger, longer, oh, yeah. a little bit heavier those are bottle guns, guns the bench shot. guns. Yeah, yeah. And, awesome. And they're iconic. Not only iconic, they're very useful. If it wasn't for guns like the Crown and the Impact, these guns would never exist because that's, mm -hmm. that was the testing grounds. But those, those are still their own guns and have their own worthwhile place. I mean, you'll talk about it later. But I know like the Crown's coming down in price too. We got a synthetic Crown at you know great price point. So it, it's all available. It's like, what I love though is those kind of features. I know there's been a lot of um, air gunners that it's just always been out of their reach. You know, buying a two thousand dollar air gun is just not going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's much more obtainable, those kind of features. Well, I'm glad to see you guys do it because money is important to everyone. They Absolutely. say it all the time. They comment on my channel. I'm so glad you're reviewing that $2,000 gun, Steve, but that's just never going to work for me. Yeah. And, um, you know, can you, can, you, can you bring us some more price point guns? Well, guys, here you go. <laughs> what are we missing? I don't know. I was just watching Matt Dubber. Yeah, uh, Matt Dubber's like standing behind the camera being goofy, so he's distracting us a little bit. We'll photobomb um, him later, pay him back. Yeah, I'm sure we're missing something, but... Um, I think we turned this one pretty much inside out. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Good. Thank oh, you for your time. Obligatory... Uh, Always good to see you. <laughs> <handshake>. <laughs> Thanks, no, guys. It's been good. Don't go away. <laughs>